So, uh, A Quiet Place 2 is written and directed by John Krasinski. And this is a pretty fantastic movie. But yeah, it is a sequel that takes place right after the events of the first one. And I was a humongous fan of the first movie. It is by far the most immersive experience I ever had in the theater. Everyone was quiet and not wanting to make a sound. There was a guy in the theater who just opened a bag of his chips just a little bit and people were just shh, shh, shh. I have never felt a movie theater experience like that before. After this movie, John Krasinski has proven that he is a good master of tension and suspense. When I first heard of the news that a sequel was going to be made, I wasn't really the biggest fan of it. I thought the movie was good as a one and done. However, after watching this movie, oh man, is it a good sequel. The movie is just perfect from beginning to end. The opening scene of day one was riveting. Great camera work good pacing, you can feel the tension even though this is a prequel set. We know the characters are going to survive the day one apocalypse, however, we still felt for them. We still felt the tension for them. The scene where Emily Blunt is driving around has some of the best cabin work I've ever seen with great elements of tension. This movie is such a heart racing experience. I never felt so tense in this movie. I was straight up panicking. I was panicking for all the characters' safety. The dialogue is a great example of simple yet strong. You don't need to say an entire paragraph to get to your point. Sometimes smaller lands a bigger impact. Killian Murphy is a great addition to this series and he plays as a good replacement for John Krasinski. When the second act starts moving in, I was getting a little Last of Us vibes. With the little amount of time that we have with these characters, John Krasinski was able to make us care about them in such a fast way. We instantly like them. We love their motivations. This is definitely as going as one of the best films of the year. The runtime is only an hour and 37 minutes, but to me, it felt like only an hour. I didn't feel like we were in an hour in. I was just like, how long is this movie? Because this feels like the ending already. The movie never once feels boring. The characters you thought you might not gonna like end up being very likable. The tension gets your heart racing with a very satisfying relief. And honestly, if there's gonna be a part three, I am all on board. Just make sure John has full creative control. Believe it or not guys, this movie is a good one. You know how good it is? I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Definitely one of the best films of the year. Check it out right now. That'll do it for this review, guys. Click on that subscription and notification bell for more videos and more content and more me. And remember, if there's a z apocalypse where aliens can hear every single sound, if you're a loud person, just don't bother. Just don't bother. Just let the aliens eat you. Just let the aliens eat you. If you're quiet, if you like to be isolated and... If you're mute and whatever, you have a strong chance of surviving. All right, see you later, guys. Peace out. I'll see you guys when part three comes out. Polyworld.